Hey, Crow. Yes, Steve? What's the sales looking like for the shop? Uh, let me, let me check real quick. And we are negative $15. How the hell did that happen? Well, I actually built one of the kits, so yeah, we got a hit on that. The hell is, am I dying? What the hell is that? It's your phone, Crow, it's ringing. Oh, really? Shit. Okay, hello? Oh, hi, um, is this the Crow Shop? Uh, it is? Sweet, can I place an order on the RG4 Simple? Wow, really? <laughs> okay, yeah, I mean, I'll definitely put you down for one. All right, yeah. Okay, yeah, I'll have it straight to you, man. Thanks. What was that all about? <laughs> we just made a sale, that's, that's amazing. You know what? Today's gonna call for a celebration. We're gonna pop that two liter of Dr. Pepper and we're gonna go crazy, buddy. Girl, I'm a plastic robot, I can't drink. Huh, it's ringing again. Same number, okay. Hello? Hey, it's me again. So, I found the kit on Newtype and they had it in for cheap. And because it's my first order from them, I was able to use promo code CROSAMA for 10% off. Thanks anyways, though. What happened? I'll tell you what happened, Steve. Newtype. That's what happened. Goddamn great prices, fast shipping, and a goddamn promo code. You know what we're gonna have to do? We're gonna do the same thing. We gotta just make a promo code. You know, I got something in mind. Big Booty Plamo, 10% off. Think it's gonna catch on? Crow, in all my years being built and living with you, I have never, and I mean never, Heard of a better plan. You know what? Let's make it official. That's going to be our slogan. That's going to be the goddamn promo code for 10% off. Well, hot diggity dance, Steve. We're in business again. Oh, time to go to the Publix. Hey, what's going on guys? Krosama here. And today we're taking a look at a new kit which just came into the shipment and it's going to be the RG Force Impulse Gundam. Now, this is a mobile suit that I've always liked in the past. However, I just never got around to getting it, whether it was the high grade version or it was the master grade version. I just really wasn't feeling it. But the real grade, I'm honestly gonna be serious. I wasn't feeling this as well. But a lot of people have been saying some great things about it. I've seen some pretty good reviews over in some Japanese and Korean channels already. And it doesn't look like a bad kit at all. And quite frankly, I think it does look pretty cool. It's just one of those kits that it kind of blends in with the rest of Seed. So it doesn't stand out as much because I'm like, well, it's just a prettier strike, even though that's not the case. Uh, but. It definitely is something that is unique, and the fact that it's a real grade, to be honest, it must mean that it's at least somewhat good. So without further ado, let's take a look at the unboxing.
So here we have it all complete. It is not in the MS mode. It is actually in its individual transformation modes. To be honest, first impressions, I do not like the transformations. Now, I will say this, it's pretty good. Uh, the way that they do the transformations. It's not a hassle or anything, but it is super simplistic. So it's kind of like, well, you can praise it, but it was already kind of easy to begin with. But looks pretty good. What, what do you think about this, Steve? Bro, I have no affiliation with this monstrosity. Honestly, a Gundam should not transform to this extent. The core fighter, I understand. But God damn it, everything else, the legs itself should not look like that. Oh my God. Uh, I mean, I, I can kind of agree with you. It's a, uh, you know, it's it's one of those things. I, you know, maybe they shouldn't have made it like that, but it works for it. It's as unique as it gets. So I'm 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 content with it. You know what I'm saying? But without further ado, let's go ahead and take a look at the review. And here's the kit all broken down in its many transformations. We'll take a look at the transformations in its entirety. And then from there, we're going to put it together as the MS because I don't want to take it apart, then put it back together and take it apart again. I'd rather just put it together as the MS and just be done with it because uh, this does not look that great in my opinion. But nonetheless, we'll take a look at all the different components. And the first one we're going to take a look at is going to be the Core Splendor. This doesn't really have too many colors. It's really just going to be your red. You got a little bit of gray. You're going to have your white and your blue. Uh, it looks okay. Uh, really a little bit too plain for my taste. But if you really want, you can paint it all up. So we'll take a look at it up close. It is going to look really good. I actually like the, uh, the little added details, the panel lines. You're going to have some stickers right here that you can apply. Although you're going to have to probably cut off a little bit of the excess because as you can see, it kind of runs off um, you know, the little part that it's supposed to go on. It does have missiles that go directly underneath the wings and it's also going to have the landing gear so that way it can actually be propped up. You can also plug in a stand, an action base stand into it and you can just have it fly whatever you want it to do. Uh, it's not going to come with a pilot, but you can actually open up the cockpit. Pit. So if you want to build your own little, little man, you can definitely do so. And next is going to be the chest flyer. Um, not really excited about this one. It just it looks goofy. And obviously, I've known about this ever since I got into uh, Gundam back in like 2011. It, but I've just never liked this transformation. I always thought it looked goofy, and it just does not look cool. Like at least the like Victory Gundam has a better way that it, it does this whole little gimmick. This, on the other hand, just looks really forced. Um, no pun intended. I, I don't like it. Definitely would not pose it in this form at all. Uh, even if all four of the kits are just kind of like posed together in their transformations, it kind of would be okay. But personally, I'd rather just keep it in the MS mode. And it's going to have this little adapter right here so that way you can plug it into any compatible stand, uh, much like the Figma stands, or you can plug it into uh, an action base stand. And next we're going to have is the Silhouette Flyer and Force Silhouette. The Silhouette Flyer is going to be that spaceship looking vehicle. It looks really good. Honestly, I don't have any problems with that. That looks coherent. It looks like it, it actually has a purpose. Um, then the backpack obviously is being carried by it because in my mind I believe the uh, impulse is just going around and it's doing its thing It's like fighting and it's like hey, I need my, my backpack So this will fly in and just you know attach it But uh, really other than that, it's just a it's just a vehicle It's something that transports and that's all I can really say on it But we'll get to all the actual details once I put the MS together so for a transformation to the MS, we're going to take the core and remove these landing gears. Also remove the missiles, fold down the wings, flip up the fins, then fold up the nose. Next we're bringing in the chest and we're going to take off this connection piece. Start working the arms and what you're going to do is just put them all back in place. Then we're going to move this little cockpit hatch down. And in come the legs and what we're going to do is just smooth these little knee parts out to where they are going to be aligned. Make sure to fold the feet out. Then we're going to dock the core right in here, lock in this back piece, and fold this top section down. Then we're going to connect it to the chest and just make sure it's going to snap into place. Like that. And here is the Impulse Gundam complete. And it's obviously not the Force Impulse Gundam yet, because we still need to get the booster on there. But for the time being, let's take a look at the MS as is. So let's take a look at all the details starting from the head down. 
So we're looking at the head sculpt and every. So we're looking at the head first. You are gonna have a couple of stickers, as you can see, a little like teal looking color right there for the top camera, as well as the back camera. And overall panel lines, you're gonna have stickers for the eyes, but that's pretty much going to be it. Just panel lining and um, you could do some other stuff here and there, but it's kind of just a regular Gundam head. So we're looking at the chest. It's gonna have a great looking design. I absolutely love it. But the one thing that just kind of looks weird is like this is like a Daffy Duck looking face. You got like the two Vulcans, which is the eyes, and this looks like a duck bill or something of the sort. It just looks a little weird and I just can't get that out of my head. Uh, but regardless, it is a nice looking chest piece. I, I just, I really do like it. This is going to have its own little articulation so you can, you know, move it all up and down. This is mostly going to be for the actual um, flight mode, but you just got to be kind of careful and yeah, you can lift it up. Now right inside here is going to be a cockpit as well. The top side is going to look fairly decent. And is what the back is going to look like with that core all attached. And we'll go over articulation and how this actually affects it. And next we're going to take a look at is going to be the arms. Honestly, I love the arms and the shoulders. I think they look really great on the real grade. The massive grade, I was just kind of like, meh, they look okay. But this is going to give it a lot of extra added detail. And it's going to give it a little extra bulk in the forms. Or at least that's what I'm seeing. Uh, Vice, the massive grade and the line art. But I love these shoulders. You're going to have some really good stickers that can be applied to the front and to the backs of them. Not only that, you are going to have the gimmick of, you know, this rotating all around. So if you want to put the shield on the, you know, f uh, outside of the forearm or underneath, you can do so and you can just kind of rotate however you want. And it, it just looks good. You're going to have lots of panel lines on the forearm as well. Uh, and the, I don't know, man. I just really love it. I love the, uh, the joints. The joints are going to be really good. And we'll cover that once again in the articulation. Now for the waist section, I love these front skirts. I just love that light blue in contrast with the dark blue and all the white. It looks beautiful. And then you're going to have some really good panel lines, some more decal stickers, and then you're going to have the side skirts and then the back skirts. So everything is looking just really, really good on this kit thus far. And now we're talking about the legs. Honestly, I don't think they look bad at all. I love the colors. It's going to have plenty of areas for panel lining, plenty of areas to actually color in if you want to do some uh, black right inside here, uh, even inside the thrusters. If you want to paint those black or silver or whatever color you really want, you can definitely do that. So this kit's going to have a lot of part separation and some of it is not even color. It's just, you know, some of the white hasn't just been colored in so if you really want to you can definitely paint certain things on here and then you slap the armor right on top while the under part of that is going to be exposed uh, other than that i mean legs look really good don't have any issues with them whatsoever they're really solid so now that we're done with the details of the main ms let's go into the articulation the head is going to be on a ball joint as well as a little hinge now the shoulder is going to have multiple different connection points. So you're going to have one directly inside the shoulder. Then you're going to have one that connects right here that you know let, lets it swivel back and forth. And then you're also going to have the other one that goes uh, basically right there. And that's what brings it all the way up. This is mostly going to be for the transformation. Then the shoulder can rotate 360. Top of the shoulder armor can move up and down. These parts right here can actually move a little bit up and down. The arm can move about that far bicep swivel, two points of articulation in the elbow, rotation at the forearm, ball joint for the hands. Now for the body, there is not really much of an ab crunch, but what there is is at the top of this, this part can actually rotate forward. So instead of using the, uh, the ab crunch, because obviously uh, right here is where the core fighter is, you just move this like that. And it's not really gonna have so much of a waist swivel, but if you rotate this up, it can go just a little bit further. Front skirt's gonna be on a ball joint, side skirt's gonna be on a ball joint, and back skirt's gonna be on a ball joint. Now for the hips, there's actually a mechanism that allows this little part right here to rotate down, and it's gonna give you even more clearance of you know rooms, that way you can do some poses or any other craziness that you wanna do with this kit. Leg can come out that far, basically do the splits, and can move back about that far. Rotation at the hip, two points of articulation in the knee, one right here, and then the other one is going to be in the base ending. Leg thruster can move up and down. Ankle armor is going to be on a ball and socket. Peg mechanism in the ankles, so that way it can move back and forth. Can rotate back and forth a little bit. Base of the foot can move down a little bit. Toe bend. 
and another peg system in the base of the foot so that way it can have some good pivots. So the articulation on this kit is actually good, but it's not outstanding. The toe can actually not move up, so you cannot get that toe flat on the ground when you're doing these like kneeling poses. It's just gonna be kinda stuck like that. And the ab crunch, I really wish it was a lot better than the upper torso being uh, the ab crunch, but it's still not horrible. It's just something that I was really expecting more out of when it came to the RG kits. And the waist part right here can actually move back and forth. Now for accessories, it is gonna come with fists, open hands. These accessory holding hands is gonna be mainly for the knives and the beam sabers. A trigger finger hand for the gun. And this open hand is gonna be for gripping underneath the shield. And you also get a mini figure of Shen, as well as a sticker sheet, but all of this is not gonna be completely used, so you can save this for another build. Now for weapons, you are gonna have the beam rifle, and I must say, this is looking good. I love the red right inside there. You're gonna have the handle that is articulate. And if you're trying to stow it, you can actually pop this little piece out and connect it to the back of the waist. And next we have is going to be the shield. Lots of panel lines, once again, it looks really good. Underneath is gonna have some little mechanical stuff, so if you really wanna paint all that in, you can definitely do so. I'm just gonna leave mine blank because you're not really gonna see it. Uh, and then this can obviously rotate up and down. The top and the bottom can actually pull out, as well as these side pieces. Next we have is going to be the combat knives, which are stowed right here in the side of the skirts. All right, so now we're moving on to the silhouette flyer and the four silhouettes. What you're gonna do is take off the flyer, and this part is going to have plenty of good details, so I just panel lined all that and underneath. Not really anything too special, but it is going to look really good once you get it all panel lined. And it's going to have that one individual thruster right here. Now for this, is not much of a transformation. Just make sure you put the beam sabers pointed upwards. And for the details, it's going to have a little bit of surface detail. Uh, with it being black, it's going to be a little bit more difficult to panel line. But a lot of the red and white, you can definitely panel line all that. However, this red is just not going to have much of surface detail. So you may be a little bit SOL on that. Now for articulation, this wing binder can go in and out. It's also gonna be on a ball joint. The lower wing is also gonna be on a ball joint. And these thrusters can move individually. Now something else I wanted to mention is that right here on this part of the wing binder, they actually have a hidden thruster, so you can pop that out. But just be weary whenever you're putting it in. It, it tells you to push on it, and I am actually stressed out a couple of the pegs here. So just be careful, maybe not push too hard. And to make the Force Impulse Gundam, all you're going to do is just take the backpack and you're going to plug it directly into the back of the Impulse. And here is the Force Impulse all completed. Honestly, I do love it. I think it looks great. It is a welcome addition to the RG line. However, I'm going to stand my ground when I say it's not the best. It's just really good. It's something that I think a lot of people who are fans of the Seed franchise or just fans of the Force Impulse are probably going to just immediately gravitate to, but people who are more passive fans or maybe just not really big fans of the Seed line, they're just going to all around skip it. And even with me, I'm not a huge Seed fan, but I do like a lot of the designs from Seed. This one is kind of more in the middle. Like, I think it's an okay design, it looks really good, but I probably just prefer the uh, launcher as well as the sword packs. And the last set of weapons that this kit is going to have once you attach the silhouette is going to be the two beam sabers and you do get two beam saber effect parts. So have at it with those poses. For comparisons, here he is next to the real grade justice and the master grade sword impulse. So for my final thoughts, 
Honestly, this kit is above average. It's not in the ballpark of like New Gundam, Crossbone, or Sazabi where those kits are fantastic in many ways, but it is good for what it does. It lacks a couple of things here and there. Uh, the build process is pretty easy and straightforward, but you're gonna have to pull this kit off uh, with a really good pose on a stand to make it stand out on your shelf. And the amount of accessories that you get for this kit is actually not bad. You do get the shield, the beam rifle, the knives, as well as the beam sabers, but I feel as if it could have used something else. I don't know. I wish the wings would have folded up a little bit more, uh, just like it did with the Master Grade. Mm, other than that, I mean, it's really good surface detail. Uh, for the size, it looks amazing. So if you really are not going for the Master Grade, then having this on your shelf is going to save space, and it's also gonna look really good in the process. I highly recommend getting the stand though because this kit is one of those that I, I don't recommend it just standing on the shelf. You're going to have to put it in a nice aerial pose so that way when people walk in they'll be like, man, that kit looks nice. Otherwise, it's kind of blending in with the rest of your kits and you really don't want that. But I do recommend this for the hardcore seed lovers or people that just love the real grade or want to challenge themselves a little bit past high grades. Um, this kit is definitely user friendly so you don't have to worry about any kind of like complexities with the actual build. Just make sure you're reading the instructions because the transformation gimmick whenever you're uh, connecting the core to the lower half to the upper half, it's a little bit... Mm, technical i would say especially when you're uh trying to take it apart just make sure you're reading the instructions carefully and you shouldn't have any problems but otherwise it does look good and is definitely above average real grade so i definitely recommend it for those who just want it so that's the review guys honestly i did not have any problems building this kit it was actually a joy to build i would have built it a lot sooner but obviously the playstation 4 gundam versus maxi boost on came out so i couldn't get to it uh fast enough because I really want to play that game. But in summary, the kit is fine. I wasn't eager to build it, much like I was with the RG New or the RG Sazabi or even the RG Crossbone. I think those were amazing kits and I was just thrilled building, building those RGs. However, with this one, I just wasn't like super thrilled. It was just, hey, it's an RG that's coming out, cool. Uh, but it is gonna look good on the shelf. I'm actually gonna be pretty happy with it. Not going to do anything special, not going to paint it because it's not that special to me. So depending on where you are, I think it, you could be one of the guys that is just like, hey, this kid is fantastic. Love the way it looks. Love the transformations. Maybe you want to put it on a stand with different necks and you want all the different transformations flying about. That's fine. But for me in particular, I'm just going to let it sit there and just look really good in the seat shelf. That's pretty much all I can think of it. But regardless, I like it. It's just not something I love. So um, yeah, that's my thoughts. What about you, Steve? Girl, I can honestly care less. I'm waiting for the day that you start reviewing more Plamo girls. And that day is gonna come soon enough, and you definitely are not gonna be touching any of them, you disgusting pervert. But that's it from us. Thank you all for watching. And if you can, like, subscribe if you have not already. And we'll be seeing you in the next video with our new shipment. See you guys later. Bye-bye.